Last video, we established it was unreasonable to believe in the perfect truth of the Quran. This video looks at the arguments the Quran itself puts forward for its perfect truth and evaluates how convincing they are. Number one, the Quran itself claims it is the perfect word of God. The longest chapter or surah of the Quran, the cow, starts with the words, this book is not to be doubted. This argument is very clearly unconvincing, since the mere act of writing something in a book does not make it true. Number two, the Quran claims that it is so perfectly written that it could not have been invented by the mind of a human. Aside from the numerous scientific inaccuracies and misleading statements, the Quran has no narrative structure, contains grammatical Arabic errors, and constantly repeats itself. For example, the claim that after death Muslims will live in heavenly gardens and that non-Muslims will be tortured in a hellish fire is repeated over and over at least 100 times. There are many far better written and convincing books than the Quran. Number three, the Quran claims that God sent prophets to tribes and because these tribes refused to convert, they were destroyed by God. Muhammad is therefore the latest prophet of God. The Quran claims that Noah was sent to warn his people to worship God, that they refused and so God drowned them in the great flood. It goes on to claim that prophets were sent to the tribe of Ad, the tribe of Tamud, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the tribe of Midian, and these people were all destroyed by God for refusing to believe. Firstly, many people and cities were destroyed throughout antiquity by wars, famines, and diseases. So if the claim these two were destroyed is true, it's unremarkable. Secondly, the extraordinary claim that these were destroyed by special acts of God, the creator of the universe, requires extraordinary evidence to back it up, which is lacking. Thirdly, there have been many false prophets in the Abrahamic religions, making it very likely Muhammad was yet another. Number four, night and day, stars and rain, plants and crops exist and therefore the Quranic God exists. The mere fact night, day, stars, rain, plants and crops exist is no evidence for God and even less for specifically the Quranic God. The rotation of the earth, the condensing of water vapor into raindrops and photosynthesis explain these issues convincingly and magnificently without the need for God. In conclusion, the Quran's own arguments for its perfect truth are very unconvincing. If we start from a position of uncertainty as to its truth. Therefore, Muslims should not believe in the Quran's perfect truth.